Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to fix this spike buster. Alright, I'm not gonna fix the spike buster itself, but I'm gonna fix this fuse here. So this was blown because of blown out because of uh, uh, I did connect some non-standard complaints. There was no a thing on that. So as soon as I connected, it got bust. Yeah, I think uh, you all know that this is uh, for safe safety reasons they have put right. So before uh, going further, let me put across a disclaimer. So this involves electricity, so be careful. So if you want to try, try on your own risk. And the second is, this is a temporary fix. This is not a permanent fix. Permanent fix is to replace the uh, fuse. I mean, get the working, I mean, the new one and replace the with a uh, damaged one. That's the actual uh, solution, but temporarily, you can fix and start uh, you know i mean you can you can you, you can start using it once you fix, if you do apply that uh, temporary fix it will be ready right so yeah this is now in working condition and actually this led right this is actually glowing not blinking because of this camera frame rate uh, it's showing it as a uh, you know blinking so that means it's working now so let me show you what thing i have applied and uh, this is a Kona brand. This is a well-known brand, the standard one, right? So let me switch it off and unplug. Okay, so I have removed from the mains, so it's not connected to any power right now, so it's safe to handle it. Okay, so I'm using this. So this is not safe because there is no insulator at the back. But anyway, I'm not gonna do much. I'm not gonna remove this. So this is just a fuse. And uh, make sure that I have unplugged it. It's not connected to mains now. Okay. That's easier one. Okay, hope I'm not connected it to mains. Right, see here. Can you see the aluminum foil there? That is what the fix I'm going to talk about. Okay, it's, uh, it's not so easy to see, but yeah, that's what I had applied. And uh, and also there is a there was a spark. That's why this got uh, damaged actually. See so, right? Okay. So this plastic part here, right, this actually got damaged because of the fire. I mean, uh, because of the spark, not fire. The spark, uh, this got damaged. So I'm not able to take it up, take it out. But uh, if it is, if it is not, uh, you know, damaged, uh, I should have, should be able to take it out. Okay. So yeah, this was damaged, and I wrapped, uh, I wrapped the aluminum foil around this thing, right? And uh, okay, this is a metal, and this is a metal. In between, there is a glass. Inside that, there is a, uh, there is a connector that will blow if there is a high voltage, right? So that this was blown to make it, uh, you know, work. I have wrapped aluminum foil around this glass part and uh, I'm making sure that the both ends are connected with this aluminum foil so now what is that aluminum foil so I use this uh, tablet wrapper right this is the part I took it out I you can use a chocolate wrapper or a food wrapper this also you can use this is an aluminum foil but uh, you should make sure that this is an aluminum foil okay there is this uh, cover this also could use, but I didn't test. But the chocolate wrapper and the tablet wrapper should work because uh, for sure uh, they are the aluminum foils because they are to they are used to cover the tablets from sunlight. Avoid uh, sunlight. Uh, the aluminum foils are used. So I use this. It worked for me. You can try. So yeah, this is what I took it out from the wrapper. Okay, let me put it back.
difficult to notice but yeah yep right let me put it back but again this is a temporary solution it should get a fuse compatible with this device with this uh, item and then put it let me switch it on okay it's working fine and let me try connecting one of the points what I can apply okay Okay, thank you guys. That's all for today. Let's see. See you later. Thank you.